Hey guys, what's up here? Since this quarantine started, teachers are giving us a lots of assignments and homeworks to do, and they don't care about us playing games or sleeping. All they want is their assignment to be submitted on time. In order to break the loop of writing assignment and submitting them, I wanted a bot to do the same thing which I did, which was writing my assignment. But the bot should do it in my handwriting. There are various tools available to write your assignments physically, but they are costly and are slow as fuck. And I also searched for any app available online which can fulfill my needs, and I found none. So I had to build it myself, and the most easy and effective solution is to use Python for it. Just because it's the only language I know to code so far. So I started by searching for various libraries on the internet, and I found a library called Pillow. It was perfect for it. After playing with the library for a while and building some basic structure, few days later I was ready with the basic model that takes your text, font file. And your assignment page as an input, and will puke your assignment within a seconds. Fuck you, slow city motors. So far, I was done with the basic PC app for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as it was made using Python. But I wanted it for my phone, cause I didn't want to carry my laptop everywhere, and I had no experience building an app on Android except for using Unity. After doing a deep research on it, I found a way of using Python with Unity. So I had no way around it, and I had to call my friends to ask for help. Then we came to a conclusion that we will build a website. The website was ready within a week. It would take all your input, such as text file and font file, and then pass it to the AWS server. And AWS will do all the computation that was written in Python and will give you a output in the form of PDF. And we will use Android Studio for building a web viewer so that we can view a web. Did you get it? Anyway, you might be thinking, does it even work, or is just another clickbait video? Yes, it works. Then how does it work? It works on Python. And thank you for asking. It takes your text as an input and your preferred handwriting, that is your font, like your handwriting font, and you can upload more than one of your handwriting to add more variations in it. Once you are done providing these two things, then it takes the assignment text and breaks them into a list of letters. Let us assume your first word is hello. Then it will take H from it on this first iteration and apply any of the font you provided, and also add a random spacing in both X and Y coordinate to make it look more humanly. Then the iteration will carry on until your list is completed. So it will. Do the same for H E L L O, and if you have provided more than one handwriting, then you will see the variation in handwriting in each and every letter and each and every letter's coordinate, that is x coordinate and y coordinate. If you are wondering how you can create your own fonts, then don't worry, I got you covered. There are several ways to create your own fonts, but the most easy and simple way, which doesn't require any additional things, is using an app called Fonty. No, this app isn't sponsored by Fonty. It's a free app on Play Store. I'll be providing link in the description below, so you can check it out. So let's install it, and once you're done with it, all you need to do is click on New, give it a name of your choice. Uh, it's basically name of your font file. Then click on the tick on the top left corner, I guess top right corner, and then trace all the letters as you write on paper, like A, B, C, D. And you know the rest. Once you are done tracking all the alphabets, letters, and symbols, click on Next button and test by typing anything on keyboard. If you feel like changing anything or you messed up anywhere, then you can go back and change it anytime. If you are okay with it, then click on the Share button and send it or save it to your drive. I don't know uh, why it doesn't give direct option to save font file on folder. But it works for now. So now you are ready with a TTF format font file. I would recommend you to make at least three font files. Don't just copy paste them. Make three different font files to give your text slight variation so that every letter in the assignment doesn't look the same. Once you are done with the fonts, I'll show you how to use our application. Go to the Play Store and search for Assignment X. Or just use the link in the description below to open it directly, like humans, and install it. 
open the app once it's installed. You have to register yourself. Don't worry, we won't spam you with in any emails. It's just for our records. Once all the registration and login is done, you will be redirected to our beautiful main menu. After waiting for some seconds, start button will pop up and you'll be shown an ad. Cause we don't run any billion dollar company and even this channel is not monetized yet. If you wanna support me or support this app, you can always donate on Patreon. Link is in the description below. I know the UI looks kind of dumb, but don't complain more. Here, there are many things to take care of. First, you need to type your name here. Then select primary and secondary color. It's just for the people who writes with two colored pens. We have already set two colors by default, but you can change it if you want. If you have a text file, then just click on the drop down and select the option or else you can write in the text box here. It only supports TXT file, so convert your files to TXT if needed. Now let us assume that you are writing a sentence like I love programming and gaming. But you want to write programming and gaming in the secondary color, that is the color you selected in the second place. So all you have to do is add a dollar sign before and after the word or a sentence. To change the color of the word or sentence to secondary color. Now set the opacity of your choice. Default value is already set but if you want to get your text darker or lighter you can play with the slider. Select the assignment page of your choice. For now we have added just two pages but if you want then you can just mail us your assignment page and we'll add. If you have your font file ready with you then in the drop down select that you have a font file or else you can just keep it no. We have already added some default fonts so if you wanna try. If you are using your own font file or text file then you will get an option of select files. By clicking on it you have to select all the things you need on one go. If you wanna upload any single file like single text file or single font file then you have to just select them. But if you want to add multiple files like for multiple font files or both font file and text file then you have to long press on any one of the file and then select other files. Note that you can't use more than one text file. It may crash or give you an error if you do so. Now if you are satisfied with all the things then you can now click on make your assignment and it will Take a while to process and upload all the data to database but once it's done you will be redirected to another site and there you will get a button called download pdf. Now just click on the button and your assignment will be downloaded within no time. Nice. It's as simple as that. If you want to compare the output then you can compare it by placing the same text in the word and my app. You can clearly see the difference. This difference makes it more special. If you have a bunch of friends then one of them can write the assignment and he can generate the output for whole group. <laughs> yeah, boy. If you have any doubts, queries or any suggestions regarding anything then you can just mail me on the mail id given in the description below. Currently we are thinking to work on adding diagrams too. But this is it for now. If you found this useful then please share this video with your friends and add any suggestions for our app or any other ideas in the description below. It will be a long and wonderful journey. Bye.